The boys are going for the sweep. Trying to get glass now is first of the year. From inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking. So just about Taj set. Bradley and on the mound today, actually. Taj Bradley. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Now the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Next offering is foul back. Righty to the plate. This one high in the air to left center. Good, I think. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Connor Joe now at the plate. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. Runner at second. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely oh. see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the okay. off speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Payoff pitch. And that's oh. ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that wall. 2-2 two, two down. Out to short. And that one finds its way through. Headed for the plate. He will score and they take the lead. 1-0. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Get out Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Going to count one and two. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity. Well, oh, that's a strikeout, right, and that'll Go do on. it for the inning. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single, and the home team. Back here at Tropicana Field, our starter in this one, Mitch Keller. And Chris, oh he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Well, I'm looking to see if he can increase the amount of swings and misses and perhaps get more strikeouts because hitters are batting over 300 against him, and that means guys are getting the barrel to the ball. Exit velocity has got to be pretty good when you have that kind of batting average, so he's going to have to find a way to do something different in this one. Foul ball still a one and two count. The wind of the pitch. Chases that one out of the zone. And one gone. Now it's Randy Rosarena. High fly ball, right field. McCutcheon makes the catch. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Wander Franco. Two for seven in the series so far. Ball to strike. Left field. Sawinski has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. And it is two and one. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Castro checks his swing, appeal to third. He did not go around. And the righty deals. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. 
Here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Two outs. And it's even up. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. The pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Hard ground ball, base knock. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. The kick, the 3-2, stays alive. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Pretty good pitch on 3-2 right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets down for a hit. Here comes the throw. It's off the mark, and he scores. We're tied at one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. And that one is lifted in the air. Puts the squeeze on it. Both runners tagging from second and third. To the plate, save. It's 2-1. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And now the right fielder, Curtis Mead. And he deals. Oh, On a line, oh, base hit. In comes the run from third. And they lead by two. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job going the other way. Josh Lowe will hit next. The 1-1. One, one. And a swing and a miss there. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little okay. more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Swing and a little roller right side. And that no, is that. Anyways. Back now in Tampa Bay. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Fastball in the corner at the knees, and it's a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. One down, base is empty. And now one and two. Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Brian Reynolds here. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the chain. Back here at Tropicana Field, ready. ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Rays, Randy Arozarena. Hit on the ground to the right side. Throw over to Choi. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Wander Franco. And now Wandy. The one two. And that one almost got him. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
Well, he froze him with a great fastball right be. on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing for Tampa as the lead remains 3-1. New inning getting started. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Ripped to third and caught. Good play, Isaac. So up next, now, Jack Sawinski struck yeah, out yeah. swinging his first Sawinski. time. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Got it by him for the K. Two down. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Righty delivers. There's a strike. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Kick, Sandios. Still 2 and 2 after the foul ball. The why to kick the pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains 2 and 2. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. In the air, right Aaron. side of the infield. Knocks it down. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back. On well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi and Chris Singleton right, with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Isaac Paredes. Next Great pitch is pick. outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Good plate appearance yeah. there. Able to take the walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Next offering is outside. Well, these Rays do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. And that'll get down for a hit. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. No, well, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score. Yeah, yeah. Flared it out there and got it to drop for the base hit. I think he got it off the handle just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. The pitch. Fly ball oh, down the right field line. And it's fair, it's gone, Let's and that go. is gone. First of the year. His first homer of the year, and they throw three on the board. It's 6-1. Bang, bang. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires... On the mound now for the Pirates, Johan Oviedo. He's into the game with the bases empty. At the play, Curtis Mead struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That's towards center. Drops into the glove, and there's two down. Back to the top of the lineup, Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. Fouls one off, two and two. And that misses off the outside edge. 
Activity in the bullpen. Harleen Garcia, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. And yeah, there's ball Good four. Night. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Cruz. They get the force. Inning over. Three-run bomb for Tampa Bay. And this is now a six. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Rodolfo Castro. Next offering is in for a strike. And now two and two. In the air to left center. A Rosarena calls it in, and there's one away. Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So the batting order turns over. Stepping in, Key Brian Hayes. And it finds its way through for a hit. Now the tag at third, and they got him. So a man aboard, and now the DH, Connor Joe, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Base hit, so that's two straight two-out hits. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Here's the center fielder, Brian Reynolds. A strikeout and a walk. And one and two. Swing and a miss. Case the fastball up the ladder for a strike. Bottom of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Wander Franco. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now it's Brandon Lau. And the pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. Isaac Paredes now. And a pitch. Two and one. And that one pulled foul. Two two now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. All set for the top of the sixth. And stepping in is the speedy O'Neill Cruz. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Trying to get him to chase on the changeup that time. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. So a man on base to start the inning. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Man at first, Andrew McCutcheon, the next Pirate to hit. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now it's three and two. Cruz off of first with two away. Right side, it's hard hit. Gonna do it himself. And that is that. One hit, one left. Six, seven, eight, do in the. Well, we go bottom six. Now up for Tampa Bay. Harold Ramirez. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. He's already homered in this game. And a pitch. 
And a count one and two. And here it comes. And that one moves his feet. And misses inside. Okay. The three-two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that three-two count kind of yeah, tells yeah, you that yeah. that's right. the pitch he has the most confidence right. in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Man at first with one gone, and now it's going to be Curtis Mead. The pitch. That's inside. One straight. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. 2-2 Two -two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. No, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a now slow death. That. With that's two that's strikes, you're looking either. to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you're committed. Down. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. That one Three, ran two, inside, two. almost got him. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Mejia, round Ooh. second on his way to third. Mejia coming home. He'll score easily, and it's now a six-run lead. And yeah, they put the tag on him. That's the third out. Top of inning number seven at the plate for Pittsburgh, Rodolfo Castro. The wind of the pitch. That one well upstairs. Two and two. And delivers outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back there. Out of here. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. And here is Henry Davis. Lau right there to make the grab. And there's one down. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or a weak contact in the infield. Swing and a miss struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And now it's one and two. And there's a the ball. It's a good take. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. One in the inning for the Pirates on this. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Harleen Garcia. You're Things got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Bullpen action for the Pirates. Colin Holderman up and throwing. The 3 1. And a foul ball. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Payoff pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. 
Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Over to first, and he's saved. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Ow! Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Could be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. He'll make it up to third, and I'm sure that'll be an error of the outfielder. He really shot on, that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is Ed was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. And now the lefty on the ground. Throw over to Choi. Now two away as they get a run across. Two out, space is empty. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau. Next pitch in the dirt, and that's ball three. In the air, out towards right center. And that's the third out. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Luis Patino. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. O'Neill Cruz, the next to hit. Now one foul off, two and two. Right-handed reliever. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Squeezes it, two down. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. A new pitcher in the game, Colin Boulder. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for a strike three. Harold Ramirez at the dish. There's a swing and a try. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Bouncer to Choi. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back now in Tampa Bay. We go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's a one-two. Sets him down on strikes. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. So digging in, G-Man Choi. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first. And meanwhile, this a fair ball down the left field line. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Choi leads off second with one gone in the inning. That one out to right. Me settles under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. So it's their last chance in this one. And here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Here's the 2-2. And now the count filled up 3-2. and two. 
Out to center. Okay. Walls sizes this one up. Okay. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. Three. And the Rays have won four in a row. Oh, really nice three-game home series sweep. They came out.